Hello everyone, it's Rad from Radku Tarot and in this whole video you are going to hear the forecast for your star sign uh, for the week 21st to 27th of September 2020. So as always, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can go to my website which is listed down below in this video and uh, there at the very front page you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. And if you are into tarot and you want to learn tarot from we, uh, from me, I'm sorry, uh, you like the way I, uh, I read cards, there are eight tarot classes that I'm offering as well and you can find uh, all about them going under the tarot classes section at the website uh, as well. My recommendation is to take the major arcana first and when you become comfortable with it, then go for the minors. So that being said, laid back and uh, enjoy the show. Right, so this is going to be a uh, Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and as well Aquarius Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot readings in terms of love and career. And the first uh, reading that I'm going to do for you guys is going to be your love and relationship one. Uh, but while I'm do shuffling the tarot cards, just want to remind you that uh, this indeed is going to be a general reading. Therefore, it's going to show the collective and cumulative energies and potential of your star sign. But personally, if you do think that you do got a better way and in generally you think that you know other way around is better by all means do whatever you think is best and fit best for you um that being said the first card that uh, you do have in term of relationship aquarius that is going to be uh, the uh, eight of wands uh, moving next we do have the five of cups uh, followed by uh, the queen of wands here into the third position and the last one that is to be the uh, ten of pentacles so uh, it's a pretty clear message and maybe um, some of you i would say most of you may not agree with it it is because uh, this message here tells you that you are to attract someone through a jealousy uh, it's at least what the cards are showing. What I'm trying to say here is that because we do have the five of cups into the second position of the spread, that is a clear indicator that whatever you are trying to do in order to catch attention or to fix things into your relationship, um, you know, or to kind of like get on the same page with somebody, it's does not produce the results that should be produced or not nearly enough results that should produce okay and uh, that's why you pretty much uh, according to those cards you have to pretty much change your a uh, strategy how to um say mes mesmerize your uh person of interest how to uh, fix the things into your relationship or into your marriage or in generally, you know, moving forward with your a love life. So there is a, uh, an individual here, which is the queen of uh, wands. And that individual is someone um, who pretty much you can flirt with. Okay, and through that flirting, different things will happen depending on what kind of a situation you are. So let's first cover up the uh, cover for the situations where people are in a relationship. When you start flirting with a another woman or with a another guy, that will make your current partner jealous, and that jealousy will make them realize how much they miss you. And it's the the reading at the end ends by. These people trying to regain back your trust, trying to regain back their position in the relationship they previously had before the problems arise or before the arguments arise and etc. etc. And that itself is going to put you into rather a, a cozy uh, situation. Those that are uh, extremely single, right, meaning they don't have any person of interest, they don't have any love interest and etc. etc. Well, flirting with somebody, it's uh, it's a really good thing. Uh, but in such an alignment where the five of cups stands into the second position and the queen of wands stands into the third position, it kind of shows that uh, you have to let the other person lead and the other person is going to be rather bossy and, and a bit uh, is the word exactly aggressive that I should use? So it's not going to be very slow with its uh, with its approach, oh, her or his approach, and will be rather daring, 
what that person is going to do with the flirt and etc etc and it's advisable for you to just go by you know just let it happen and again at the end of the uh, at the end of the week you are likely to um you are likely to end up in a again a cozy and rather a comfortable position but whatever happens there at the end of the at the end of the week you are going to have your personal independence now that personal independence independence doesn't mean that you're going to be alone it means that while you can be with somebody you also can have your life the way you want to have your life and that's the whole struggle into relationship isn't it to be with someone and simultaneously to have your life the way you like it and so that person is agreed with that life so uh, I probably I haven't um, expressed myself appropriately at the start of the reading I said through jealousy the whole reason here to make um, your uh, either a person of interest jealous or your partner jealous or your husband or wife etc etc is to make them realize how much you're worth and is to make them realize you know how what is there for them to lose and once they realize that uh, more likely than not they will make some moves in order to regain back your trust, like said, and to regain back their um, their position uh, in uh, in the relationship that you do have in between one another. So that was uh, that was the love tarot reading, and uh, now let me put the cards back into the deck, shuffle, and see what your career has to has in store for you. One note here uh, about the love tower reading, okay? I'm not saying that you should cheat on your girlfriend, boyfriend, etc. Flirting is not cheating, okay? So don't mix those things around. If you cheat, that is crossing a, a, a threshold, a boundary that maybe there is no going back from. And there is no going back from, I mean, you cheat, it's fact, it's there, it's always going to be a detrimental to your, uh, to your marriage or to your relationship. Now, flirting, flirting, it's a uh, rather a, a wide um, category. Flirting, it could be just smiling to each other, it could be blinking to each other, you know, or just exchanging phone numbers, etc, etc. So, Career-wise, uh, the first card that you do have is again at the Five of uh, Cups. Moving next, we do have the Hangman, uh, followed by uh, the Page of Wands. And the last one that we do have for you guys, that will be the Strength card. So career-wise, the week is uh, it's going to revolve around you, you trying to find a way, or rather like a finding a way, not just only trying, but also eventually by the end of the week, you're going to find it. Finding a way to um for two things now first one is to cope with some failures which are rather petty they are a minor partial losses a temporary disappointments and etc etc and the other thing that say, you are going to try to find a way of is finding a way to push your idea or to push your project to push your performance in generally true without changing it now the week itself is going to be a call for arms or rather like a call for a action. Uh, being passive is the last thing you do want for yourself and for your career as well throughout the week. Needless to say, those that are jobless and that are looking for a job, uh, that week may find them rather discouraged um, for them to seek a job, maybe because they have been turned off from a few few opportunities recently but throughout the week you are going to have a person who is going to encourage to encourage you to look forward into the future and to be open as well for everything new as well as that person is going to remind you of how capable you are in uh, in reality and most likely is going to help you actively to find a job in other words they are going to look for a job with you for you and uh, by the end of the week uh, as the strength as the strength stands there uh, 
well, depending on what kind of a situation you're finding yourself at, strength which stands, uh, will stand for a few things. Now, the first one is that if you do look for a job, strength, strength stands that the job that you may find may not be ideal at that point, so it's not gonna be the perfect one, but you will be able to fit with it in a rather uh, good fashion. But those who are proceeding with their projects, with their endeavors, you know, and they do have a businesses, the strand stands for the word or for the maxima here, I told you so, that's probably people doubted you when you started with your performance, when, when you started with your projects or with your ideas. But as you do keep pushing with, uh, with, these, uh, with these ideas or with these things in mind, um, at the end here, as you do have someone to encourage you, as you do swallow down the uh, previous petite failure and a rather tiny disappointment, now actually you are clearing your path toward the um, toward the success, if you will. For if you have to imagine what the strength really is, is imagine that you are climbing a mountain, okay? and you just know that you have to climb it, you don't know what it is beyond that mountain, but you just know that if you have to keep on going, you have to climb the mountain. So you do climb the mountain and climbing is a struggle, but once you do reach the summit uh, and you survey the vista, you do realize that it was all worth it, okay? Uh, and this is exactly what you are you will have to stand against throughout the week, that maybe you will not know toward what end you know, you are a performing into your projects or into your career, uh, into your business as well. Maybe you would want to just throw it away and, and never look back. But I do think looking at those cards it is that you will have to give it one more chance before you give up on on your dream, okay, or on your uh, on your goal. And uh, one last thing before we wrap this one up, it is that. Um, Strength is known for its indestructibility, meaning that whatever you have established by the end of the week for yourself from the endeavors of the week itself, it will be yours to carry on, okay? So nobody can take it away from you, nobody can uh, destroy it for you. You are the only one who can pretty much walk away or um, fail in that, uh, in that enterprise. So yeah, Aquarius, that being said, guys, this was your uh, weekly general tarot readings in terms of a love and career. Uh, hopefully you have enjoyed them and you do like them and uh, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.